Are you going to see Spike Lee for me? Ma'am, I gotta hurry. Why? What's going on? Are you family? No. Could be anything. Let the doctors figure it out. He must be so scared. All these strangers around him. Well, Joe's looking after him. And we're here keeping him strong. Any idea how much longer? Mm. I'll be outside. Gone? I don't know what she thinks she's going to get. Forgiveness? Absolution? Don't worry about Greenlee. She won't be a problem anymore. Feeling better? Yes. Yes, I am, Adam. But it's not enough, Adam. I still want that promise from you. All right, Erica. I promise, I swear, that I won't go after Zach. Hello? Well, is something wrong? Tell my daughter I'll be right there. Erica, what is it? Uh, I have to go, Adam. just gone over the paperwork. It uh, looks good to me. Yeah, we'll move in just as soon as everything is in place. Yeah. The Chandler will be ready for a take back. And we won't have to worry about Zach Slater either. It's perfect karma. Perfect. He won't be able to fight us because he'll be too worried about his children. I know. I mean, you think you can protect them, you think you can keep them safe, and... Yeah. How's the little guy? How's he? He's hanging in there. There's no telling. Kendall can deal with a lot, but... But this... Kendall is strong. But not this strong, Zach. I mean, look at her in there. If she falls, it's my job to catch her. Some results. We've done basic audiometrics. We've insufflated his tympanic membranes to check for movement. We've checked his cranial nerves, his balance, the nerves in his eyes. The condition is not life threatening. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, so, so Spike is going to be all right. Are you sure? Are you sure, are you sure now? I mean, no, no. What about what about his brain? What about the damage? There's no brain damage. Oh. That's <laughs> incredible. There's something else. No, there's something else. There's something what? else. Something is wrong. I know something Honey. else is wrong. No, no. There's something that you're not telling us. 
There's bad news. Tell us what it is. We don't know if the condition is temporary or permanent. Spike didn't respond to the sound of the falling tray or the sound of your voice because he couldn't hear them. Spike is deaf. This happened, Joe. Hearing loss can be a result of trauma, Ryan. It doesn't always show up right away. So, what do we, what do, we do now? Like, what kind of therapy? What kind of treatment? What, what do we do? They still need to run more tests. But it's like everything he needs. I, I got your message, Kendall. How are the boys? Well, what is it? What's wrong? The trauma from the accident seems to have affected Spike's hearing. We hope that his deafness is not permanent. Oh, my God. Kendall, honey. Everything is going to be all right, Kendall. Sweetheart. Joe, I'm still not getting any answers. I don't understand how you missed this. His other injuries took precedence, Ryan. Later on, sedation helped mask the symptoms. Has he been seen by an audiologist? Not yet. We'll call the specialists. Right. Right, I mean, it can be fixed. Right, it, 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 like swelling or maybe an infection or something like that, right? We really don't know enough to rule anything out. Not yet. My son will be fine. We'll fix it. My son will not be deaf. I won't accept that. Kendall. Ryan, no, no, I don't want to hear could be's or might be's, okay? Speck will be fine. He will be. Yes, of course he will be. Is it a temporal break? Possibly. We just have to be prepared. Right, I said know, enough, 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 okay? Spike needs his parents to believe. He will hear my voice. He will hear his mommy wish him good night. He will hear his daddy read him a story. He will hear. He, he, he will hear everything. He will. He will. Mm -hmm. Do you know whether it's conductive or sensory neural yet? Not yet, but we should have the answer pretty soon. What's the difference? Uh, uh, conductive refers to the way sound is transmitted from outside the ear to inside the brain. Mm -hmm. You mean like the eardrum? Yeah, those tiny bones help transmit sound. But problems with conductive deafness can, can sometimes be fixed with, with surgery or medication. And, and, and the sensory? Sensory neural is when there's damage to the inner ear or the nerves connecting it to the brain. That kind, that kind can't be fixed. It's permanent. That's right. And how do you know all this, Annie? I knew somebody who was deaf, the permanent kind. Mr. and Mrs. Slater? Yeah. Dr. Delano would like to talk with you and your wife in the NICU. Be right there. Back. Spike is as stubborn as his mom. Kendall, I am going to call the top specialist in the country. Thank you, Mother. And I'm going to be here with you, honey. I'll stay as long as you need me to be here. Spike, maybe you are baby. But you're mine. What's going on? How's my son? What's wrong? Uh, Ian is uh, severely jaundiced. Uh, his body's producing too much bilirubin, uh, which uh, his liver can't process. Uh, that's what makes his skin young. Is it serious? Well, it's not an uncommon complication in premature births. But it can be treated. Well, that's the good news. No surgery, no needles, just light. Light, huh? 
what we uh, will put in under a specific frequency of light wave, which uh, helps the body break up the bilirubin and makes it easier to eliminate it. And how long does it take? A couple of days, a couple of hours? How long do you do this for? Well, it take uh, multiple treatments, Mr. Slater. Okay. I'm sorry, my, uh, my wife and I just had some bad news about our other son. He, he's had some hearing loss, and uh, we don't know if it's permanent or not. I am sorry to hear that. Thank you. We will take excellent care of your son. Okay, Joe, what are you gonna do about this? Everything I can, Erica, you know that. I know that Greenlee somehow slithered past what you laughingly refer to as hospital security, and she was in Spike's room when this happened. I've taken steps to prevent that sort of... Erica, are we going to play the blame game, or should we talk about something useful? I contacted Dr. Norton in Dallas. Hmm. Well, he's one of the top pediatric audiologists in the country. That's good. Good, yes. Spike needs the best care he can possibly get. Mm -hmm. With the bouncing and the jumping, the wiggles and the giggles. Come on, baby. Would you sing it with Mama? Would you sing it with me, okay? Come on. Okay. Bounce and jump, wiggle and giggle. Sing. It's okay, Mom. It's okay. Okay, Spiky Mama's here, okay? I'm never gonna leave you ever again. Ever. Would you like to uh, feed your son before the treatment? What's got a feeding tube? Well, it's not like bottle feeding, of course, but you can feed him. You see that syringe there? You just... Uh -huh. Put that into the gavage tube there, and that sends this, this one. Yeah, that sends his mother's milk uh, directly into his stomach. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just like pour. It yeah, just pour it in there. There you go. <laughs> you can read up, little guy. Yeah. Okay. Go back to bed, get some rest. I'm fine. Why don't you let me help you back to bed, okay? Ten fingers, ten toes. It's perfect. My perfect little boy. your favorite color, but he insisted on having a red one. He says that all big boys love red wagons. I told him blue was the color of the season, but he wouldn't listen to me. Kendall. He I smiles, am. he smiles, honey, and, and he plays. I know. I know. Uh, he and Miss Jaundiced. And I give him some kind of a light treatment, so he's going to be okay. But uh, I, I want you to come with me, all right? Um, right now? Yeah. I can't breastfeed him, but there's something just as good. Come on. I can't. No, I can't. I can't leave my son. You have another son that needs you, Ken. Sorry. Zach, I'm sorry. I'm such a, I'm a horrible mother. I don't oh, know what are. to do. Yes, I am. I am. I have to be. None of this would have happened if it weren't for me. Hey, don't do this. Oh, God. Look at me. You're strong. You're a strong woman, not stronger than you give yourself credit for. No, I'm not. I can't. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this. It's all right. I can't. It's all right. No, no. How do I choose? 
How do I choose? How do I let go for even one minute? <laughs> it's not all right, Zach. It's not. It's not. I mean, I want to be with Ian, but I want to be with Spike, and I, I don't. I don't know what to do. I don't know who to be with, and I don't know how to choose, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> very much. I know you might think it's presumptuous of me to turn to you now, but I'm begging you, please help my family. Those two little boys, they've been through far too much in their short, short lives. Please, please watch over Spike. And please make him well. And give Ian the, the fire of his mother and the will of his father. Help him fight. And please help my daughter. It gave Bianca back her little girl. Oh, please don't take... Please don't take those two little boys away from Kendall. The nurses take the milk that you pumped you in the day and they feed them right through this tube here. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Attach this to here. And press that slowly. Don't give him too much. Okay. And it goes right into his stomach? Mm -hmm. Watch. Even in the middle of everything, he just, he stops your heart. You keep fighting, little man. Just keep fighting. 